Hi everyone, this is Sandy Queen at the Heart, and I'm back with a project share. And basically, my first time um, turning. I I have this. I got this coffee blend turnabout stamp set, and during their big sale, I bought a whole bunch of these um, of these turnabouts. So I also have the turnabout. There's like a little template that you have, and then they come with a template. So you kind of need both of them to help you get started so you can line everything up properly. And I had to watch the videos. So I will tell you that there's definitely a little bit of a learning curve. It's not like impossible or anything or super hard, but there is a little bit of a learning curve. So I would strongly suggest that um, if you do get a chance to buy these, they're fabulous. But I would watch the videos that they have. And even then, I mean, I think I'll get better with, with practice. But I love coffee stamps and everything like that. And this one is super fabulous. It makes really cute, fun cards. Um, I could have played with this all day. But I, kind of, I actually have one more um, thing that I want to show you that I stamped. And I figured out that I actually didn't make a card with this yet. I didn't know what I did with it. So... Um, this is what it looks like after you've stamped it four times, four different colors. Um, and I kind of really like the color scheme on this one. So I am going to turn this one into a card and I will share that with you when and if I get to this one. Because I just noticed, I'm like, oh my God, I forgot to make a card with that one. Um, but there you go. So I did quite a few cards. This one I did on craft. And I saw this one on Pinterest, so I liked it on craft. Um, and I used my Lawn Fawn inks. I have those Catherine Puller inks on my wish list because I like all the sort of different bright colors that she has. And they're a different kind of style um, ink. Even though they say they, they dry quickly, look like they, they might dry a little slower. But um, for this one, I just stamped on craft. And then I had used the two little um, coffee cups right there. And then a thanks a latte. And I just kind of tied it in with some coordinating blue. And I think that's really, really fun. This one I had also stamped on craft. And then I had cut out a mat with it. So kind of made my own background papers there too as well, which is basically what this does. So I just cut out um, this with the cat scrappiness die, which is my favorite. I use it all the time. And then I stamped the mug and the little uh, coffee there. And I just put together my card. So, and then this one is very similar. Um, different color scheme with this so you can kind of see how you can change the look by using different colors I think this one I might have only stamped three times and not four I think I did I think I only did three times on this one instead of four so there you go and I kind of used this sort of cranberry ink um, and you definitely need some kind of stamp positioner I have a misty you're, you're going to need one for this, um, for these stamps for sure. And also stamping anything that's like a full on uh, filled in stamp set. I mean, you really do need a stamp positioner because it rarely inks perfectly filled the first time. So there's that one. And then the last one I have to share is this one. And I love the color scheme with this. So I use a teal and this cranberry kind of color along with, um, yellow and then, um, brown and then I did the teal cup and so I love that so really fun cards I I highly recommend um this stamp set Concord and Knife has a couple like really amazing things and I have a ton of Concord and Knife especially stuff that I bought when they were having their big clearance sale so my goal like over from now until summer is to get through all of those stamp sets and dies and things that I have gotten and just haven't used that have not seen ink yet. So this is a good start. Thank you so much for watching. This is Cindy with Crane of the Heart.